Good morning, guys. It's an exciting week. Work has started on the house. Finally. I feel like everything just seems to have had like a July date. So there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of... Um, oh, so I've got a hair up my nose. There we go. A lot of changes and a lot of things happening over the next few weeks, which is very, very exciting. Um, so today we have the new... Um, hang on, what has happened today? So we've got new sofas arriving. Um, work has already started in the open plan, like kitchen, dining, family area at the back of the house. Um, work has started on the like bespoke shelving units and like the sort of media wall. That's started. I've also got someone coming round to fit the curtain poles um, in the living room and the open plan room. It's all go, 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 but it's exciting and oh, I'm so happy. I found someone to do the painting, so I'm over the moon. So the living room is getting painted next week. And then fingers crossed, the open plan room, once all of the like joinery stuff is finished, that'll get be getting painted the week after, we hope. And then at the end of the month, we've got the curtains being fitted. Um, we've got like bits and pieces arriving. So it's all changing. It's all go, go, go. So I will, um, I'll go downstairs and like show you um, like the updates so far. And then we'll crack on. I've just got ready for the day. I'm just about to film a video actually in between the like the drilling and the noise and all of that stuff. I was going to wash my hair this morning, but with everyone coming and going, I literally don't have time to actually sit and just wash my hair and dry it sort of like without getting disturbed and having to run up and down the stairs so playing it safe I've gone for a sleek bun i'm just tidying up my baby hairs at the minute i've been using um this you might remember did i vlog it i'm not sure if i vlogged it or not i went um a few this was a few months ago i went to the launch of um this brand it's called oh i'm not even showing you <laughs> There we go, slick stick. As it says on the tin reel, it's really good for like flyaways. It literally just looks almost like a clear mascara, but you use it to tame baby hairs. And to be completely honest, when I first heard about it, I thought, is this really a product I need? Like, isn't hairspray just like better for this? No, I actually really enjoy using this. I, as I said in my last vlog, I'm going through a weird like, hair growth phase. I've tried to slick them down as best as I can with hairspray, but this is really good for even just popping in your handbag and just taming any flyaways that you notice. Like, oh, I can see a few up there. And it's good because it doesn't mess your hair up. There we go, already. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see on camera because you really can't see my baby hairs, but it's just so good at taming everything i also like it for like these side burny <laughs> these little bits here i'm gonna start work for the day i'm gonna make myself an iced coffee actually i'm really craving one i did a really good walk this morning um it was just me and bolly because desi was madam was at the uh hairdressers getting her hair done so it was just me and bolly i've been taking them on a new route in the morning and depending on a couple of things it can range between sort of 8 to almost 10k and nine times usually I don't have time to do like the 10k route but sometimes I can get in like the 8k one if I'm out of the house at like half six seven in the morning typical spaniels they can just keep going and going to be fair though, our dogs are really good they will happily be like a couch potato for the day and they don't pester you to go for a walk but at the same time when we do go for a walk they will just keep going and going and going there's no off switch with them um they just love it so yeah it was nice right time for me to go in fact actually why don't i i'll take you downstairs i'll show you the updates um and then yeah i can crack on with this week's vlog so as you can see sofas have been moved out so we're just waiting for the new ones to arrive they should be here literally any minute guys you'll be pleased to know the mirror is finally on the wall i also need to show you this side of the house don't ask me why but I am impatient and I wanted to see what colour, well, I wanted to see what the colour would look like on the wall in here, so we do have a patch. <laughs> also popped the um, picture up on the wall. I just love it. I've got a few things to update you on, actually, to be honest. 
uh, new, actually did I show you these? And new side tables, I think I did. And then the paint colour, that's about it. So just to show you a little update in here, this is the progress with the um, built-in shelves so far. Don't mind the blanket on the sofa. I just wanted to throw something on there just in case it gets marked or anything. So yeah, this is where we're at at the minute. Obviously they're not gonna stay this colour. Um, in order to do the bottom cupboards, it's actually uh, kitchen cupboards. So that's just the colour the kitchen cupboards were when they were ordered. And then the shelves, like the bespoke shelves are sort of built on top and around that. They've made um, the doors um, bespoke, which is lovely. Um, so they've added these like little trims onto them. And then obviously we need to drill the handles onto them. This is the kind of overall plan. So this is what we're hoping it looks like. So this is the progress. And this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to have shelves either side of the TV. The TV will be moving as well, guys, by the way. It needs to come off the wall today. Um, and it's going to be shifted down a little bit as well. So yeah, we're going to have the shelves either side. And then we're going to have some lovely um, like picture lights um, just at the top above there. So yeah, I'm really excited to see the progress today. It should be finished by the end of the week. It won't be painted. We're actually having um, the whole room, everything painted and um, the new media wall painted all together, just so it can all be, you know, all be done cohesively, there won't be any patches. So yeah, that will be done. We'll then be doing the coving along the top as we did in the living room and then painting the whole room, which is currently looking like this. So this is gonna be all very different. There's gonna be curtains in here soon. Oh, it's gonna be so lovely, but it already sounds so ridiculous, I know. But last night I was sat down here just watching the TV and I don't know why, but already it was starting to feel a little bit cosier. It's just nice not having a big plain wall down this end now. It just kind of feels like we've got a bookend, if that makes sense. So yeah, and I know this is gonna sound very premature and I'm sorry for saying the C word, but it made me really excited for Christmas this year because I'm gonna have all these new shelves to decorate and yeah. I actually said to Andy, I can't wait until this is all done. It's Christmas, Christmas Eve, and we can sit here and watch the holiday. I know, how ridiculous, but guys, I think we're all guilty of it. Everyone thinks about these things when they're making changes to the house. So yeah, that's the progress. That's a, This is after day two. So I'll give you a little update tomorrow when the guys are finished today. <laughs> This is what it's like guys trying to film while there's loads of people in the house doing things. It's very stop start, stop start. So when you see this 15 minute long video get put out, just know how much longer it takes to film. Have we stopped? Look who's back from the hairdressers, my little floofster. Look at these fluffy legs. Desi, I'm trying to show everybody your new haircut. You're going to be a bit cooler now in the hot weather. Oh my God, look at those legs. You're both going to be a bit better now in the warm weather. Yes, you look so pretty. Do you feel better, darling? Oh, this is what happens when she's been to the groomers. She... <laughs> She has a mad half an hour, don't you? Oh, I know, you can be fluffy again in the winter, but you'll be so much more comfortable now, won't you? To celebrate work finally getting done on the house, we're gonna um, leave the house and not spend any time in it. <laughs> so we're gonna just head down um, to the pub with the doggies and just grab some food because the weather has gone so nice again. It's so warm and I just said, you know what, let's just, can't be bothered to cook, so let's just go down to the pub. So just to quickly show you what I'm wearing, I'm really sorry about the dodgy angle, but um, as I said, I've got you balancing on, um, literally on a box. So I'm just wearing my new um, basic vest top from H&M. These shorts are from Zara. I've got my chunky sandals on from New Look. Um, this white, oh, this white shirt's actually also from New Look. And then my bag is from Pauline. 
And then I've also got my, let me grab them, also got my Celine sunglasses. So this is my outfit to head down to go out for some dinner and then yeah probably just have a nice chilled night in. I feel like oh, on the wonka little bit there we go I feel like it's been so long since I did like an unboxing on my vlogs so I've had a parcel arrive oh my gosh look how messy my shoes look in the background I've literally set the camera up exposing myself to the messiest part of the dressing room so I've had an order from Farfetch delivered just for full disclaimer I am working with Farfetch over on my Instagram they haven't asked me to show anything on my YouTube channel um, but obviously anything new in this wardrobe and I'm going to show it to you aren't I? So I'm going to go and grab the bits that I've got um, and just do a little bit of an unboxing with you. I will have a code for Farfetch. Um, I don't have it now and it's not live at this moment which is really annoying but what I'll do is once they have told me what it is and I know it's all live I'll update you in a future vlog um, when all that is set up. So watch this space, there will be a Farfetch code coming but let me show you what goodies that I got from Farfetch. I love how my ring light's just peering in, <laughs> in the corner as well. Okay, let's pop these boxes down Ooh. over here. Let's just start with the most exciting one. Gosh, I've just realised you are really on the wonk. Let me straighten you up. That's better. I literally had the camera tilted like that. So first up, the dust bag is literally going to give it away. Can you even see that on camera? Chloe dust bag. Now this one might not come as much of a surprise because you guys might remember when I got my mango bag. In fact, let me just get it. So I picked up this basket bag from Mango and you might remember that I said it was a really good dupe for some of the more high-end basket bags. So this was the basket bag I was mentioning and I sort of said that if I feel like I'm reaching for this a lot, I might upgrade. So that's exactly what I did. So I decided to go for the Chloe basket bag. Now I know it's not the most new or exciting bag, but I genuinely feel like it's such a classic for summer. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't have this at the start of the season. And yeah, but I don't care. I've now got it in my wardrobe for life and I, love her i think it's so beautiful as i said so classic a very very easy bag to um to wear and style and it's not the most expensive of bags either this retails for around the sort of four to five hundred pound mark so in terms of designer handbags it's not up there it's definitely one of the more affordable bags but it's just one that for me I just feel like this is so lovely. You can take this on holiday with you, use it as a beach bag, use it as an everyday bag in the summer. I just really, really love it. So yeah, new bag in the wardrobe. Next up, I have never owned a piece of clothing from this brand. Actually, does a scarf? A scarf doesn't count, a scarf's an accessory. I do have a scarf from them, but I've never owned a piece of clothing, so. I will try this on by the way and it definitely needs a little bit of a steam this is just not gonna look right when it's not on but it's the Jacquemus shirt dress it's in a gorgeous I'd say more of a bone color it's not white more of a cream or a bone color if that comes through on camera but I just thought this is such a me outfit I think I've mentioned before that I am really leaning into dresses, but a shirt dress for me, it's the perfect combination of being that little bit more less feminine and more on the business casual side of the shirt, but then it's still a dress, so it's still really lovely to wear in the summer. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about these um, shirt dresses, the shirts, and I did ha actually have my eye on one of the shirts last year and I didn't go for it, so I decided to grab the dress again like the basket bag this could be easily something you throw in the case to take on holiday dress it up to wear in the uk but i'm going to try it on anyway and give you my first impressions because as i said i've never owned anything from this brand before in terms of clothes so yeah let's see what this looks like on please don't mind the mess behind me from filming but this is the jacquemus shirt dress on 
this is honestly one of the most flattering shirt dresses I think I've ever put on my body. Has got a little like cut out detail here at the side. I love this piece of fabric. It almost, almost looks like a bandana going around the waist, but it's super fitted around the waist here. So feels really lovely and flattering. If I take a step back so you can see the whole thing. I just think it looks beautiful. Um, yeah, really, really happy with this. I think if you are umming and ahhing about potentially splurging on one of these dresses um, and treating yourself, definitely well worth the money. I feel so nice in this. I honestly just cannot wait to wear this now. Okay, some shoes. Now this brand I have never heard before. So this is Di Aclepo. I know some of you will probably be watching thinking, how have you not heard of them? Not a brand I've come across before, but they are on Farfetch. So what I actually did when I was looking on the Farfetch website, I really needed a pair of tan shoes to go with like my tan belt, the tan when I use on my basket bag. I've got tan sandals. I wanted something closed toe that just felt a little bit more, maybe more formal. I didn't want a heel. I just wanted some tan flat shoes that I've, so I've just got an alternative rather than wearing my sandals all the time. So I went on the Farfetch website and literally I just searched for tan flat shoes and this brand came up. They've actually got so many really gorgeous shoes, but let me show you the shoes that I went for. Just gonna scoot on in here, don't mind me. These are the shoes. So as you can see, they're like um, a ballet flat, really, but they've got the strap at the back. And then this is what sold it to me. This gorgeous gold chain here that obviously wraps around your ankle and just adds that gorgeous little bit of detail, but I thought this would just be such a nice alternative than wearing sandals all the time. I actually have something that I'm going to um, at the end of the week and this will go perfect with my outfit. So I'm so glad that they've arrived on time because now I'm seeing them in the flesh. These are just great and they're going to look so nice when I wear like my tan belt and yeah, I love tan and navy blue together as well. How gorgeous do these colours look next to each other? Oh. So happy with them. And then finally, some of you might recognise the box already, but this is my first ever pair of shoes from Castagna. Let me just open these for you. So I decided to grab myself my first ever pair of Castagna wedges. Now I have had many a pair of like dupes for these over the years. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take the plunge and get the real ones because I know I'm going to wear them. Such a good alternative in the summer than to wearing heels. In the summer we obviously have loads of events that are out on grass and sometimes wearing like a stiletto heel just isn't the one. You don't want to be sinking so wedges are a great alternative and these are such a classic. These aren't too high for me either. I am five foot eight. I don't really like to have huge huge wedges or huge heels because I literally become about six foot five and I just don't need the extra height so yeah, these are the ones I went for. Now I'm looking at these. I think these will actually look really nice with the shirt dress. So maybe I'll try these two on together. I think that'll look really, really nice. But yes, that is my Farfetch unboxing. I hope you like the pieces that I chose. As I said, I will have a code coming soon, but I'm impatient and I wanted to show you all the bits that I had selected. So, so just watch this space and I will have a code coming for you very soon okay guys so i thought i'd quickly give you an update now the guys have finished um in here until the painter comes in so first change is we've got our curtain poles up i love how like chunky and like substantial they look compared to what we had before we didn't have any curtain poles in here but we had a curtain pole in the living room and um, we've also we've had the same one put up in the living room as well but compared to what we had in there these just feel so much, just, as I said, more substantial. But let me show you the wall because it's finished. I'm so, so pleased with how this is looking. Obviously, it's not going to be left this colour. It will be painted when the paint is here. Um, the only thing we need to do is just screw on the um, like cupboard door handles. But 
and they're yet to arrive. I think they're getting here Monday, but that's um, a job that we can just do. But I am so, so happy with how it's all looking. We've got our lights up here as well. I'm so excited now to fill all the shelves with all of like my pretty bits. And but yeah, I just feel like already, obviously guys, we, you know, it's not finished, but already just sitting down here feels so much cosier. Good morning guys, you're gonna have to excuse me. I um, haven't styled my hair yet, but I've done my makeup for the day. So today I am, how do I explain what I'm doing? I'm heading down, oh, suddenly went really dark then. Oh, I'm just gonna pop a light on, one second. Has that made any difference? Probably not. But I am heading down, so I'm heading down south to Charlbury. So it's in the Cotswolds. And I've been invited down for a lovely lunch at Cornbury House. Now, I've never been there before, but I have heard about it because they um, host uh, some horse trials. Anyway, funny how you can kind of come full circle because I've now been invited for a lunch there with the owners of the house and the kind of like the organisers of the horse trials for a lovely lunch um, in aid of sort of raising awareness and learning a bit more about the horse trials which is really exciting because from the vibe I get it's a lot more than just a horse trials so I'm going to take you along with me because I'm really um yeah I'm really looking forward to going down now I have just as a FYI I have been told there are certain things I'm not allowed to film obviously um Cornbury House, the people that own it, they, you know, obviously live there and they don't want certain things being shown, which obviously completely understandable. So I'm going to try and film as much as I am allowed to, um, sensitively. Um, and yeah, just take you down with me. I'm not sure what to expect. This is the first sort of um, lunch like this I've been invited to. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure who else is going to be there. I think there's like a mix of sort of fashion, equestrian influencers. I'm kind of a bit of a hybrid, <laughs> hybrid of both as obviously most of you guys follow me for fashion but then that is my hobby as well on the side so yeah I'm looking forward to it. One thing I'm really excited for though I'm gonna try and not be a really embarrassing fangirl but I do know that Laura Collett is going and giving like a bit of a talk so that is very exciting to me. For those of you that don't know, Laura Collett is probably currently Britain's best eventer. And obviously I am an amateur eventer with Flickr, so she's very much a role model for me. She was gold medal winner at the Tokyo Olympics for Great Britain. She is a five star event rider. So in eventing, five star is like top 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 of the game you you can't compete any higher level than five star there are actually only six huge five star competitions so the best of the best go there and compete and she's won three out of six of them so she's pretty good like she's probably the best one of the best in the world easily so yeah she imagine like a little boy meeting their favorite footballer the excitement that's that's kind of what I am feeling right now, but I need to play it cool. So I am going to get changed because I'm not going down in the best top. Now, um, the only thing is it's forecast literally thunderstorms all day. Like there's no let up. I looked on the Met Office and it's like 95% precipitation from 9am until about 5pm, which is sod's law because it's actually not raining where I am now. So. Yeah, I'm heading into the rain, but it's fine. But there is a dress code. It's like summer attire. I think they're encouraging us to wear summery dresses. And, you know, we're going to, in true British spirit, we're going to fight through the rain. A bit of rain doesn't scare us off, let's be honest. Now the sun's coming out. It's really rubbing it in that I'm about to go and head towards the rain, isn't it? But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to get changed. I'm going to take a couple of options in terms of shoes because I think we're going to be outside for a little bit. So yeah, I have actually got a new dress from Karen Millen. I ordered um, a couple for today, but the Karen Millen one was definitely the best one. So I'll pop that on, get ready. I'll show you that. Um, and then yeah, I'll obviously, I'll link it in the description box as well, guys, if you're interested. But yeah, so I'm gonna get ready and have a really nice day, I hope. 
apologies about the light, it's a little bit gloomy in here, but this is my outfit to go down to Cornbury House. So the dress is from Karen Millen. I actually ordered another shirt dress from Zara, but I really didn't like it on me, it just wasn't very flattering. I love this because you can actually undo, it's um, obviously it's a shirt dress. Shirt dresses make me feel very comfortable because I feel like I am um, naturally drawn to more kind of like more masculine shaped clothes so I love the fact that it's very structured on the top like a shirt but then goes a bit more girly and floated on the bottom. I love the fact that this with this one it is buttoned all the way down to the bottom so you can unbutton it at the bottom as much as you want, have a little bit of leg just peeking through which I think is really nice for a summer dress. And then my shoes, these are my new ones that I got recently from Farfetch. I just wanted some flat ones. I was gonna wear the wedges, but as it's forecast to rain, I don't think that is the best idea. And then I am obviously going to take my new Chloe bag. So yeah, this is the outfit for the day. I'll pop some sunglasses in my bag. Not that I think I'll need it right now, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I've also got a change of outfit for if we do have a look around the um, sort of like the grounds where the cross country course usually is because I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit muddy. So I have packed my Wellington boots with me. So yeah, I'm gonna head off now. So I will see you when I'm down there. <laughs> massive wall gardens because it was in, in, in the old days long time ago that the gardener who lived there in those wall gardens he would basically feed all the estate you can imagine the number of people that worked on an estate you know yeah here at this time so they're incredible wall gardens and how old would that wall be david that was probably um i would think built in georgian times wow. so you know it's sort of Getting on for 300 years old, 250 years old. And that was where we're going. You see that tent up at the top? Yeah. Where we're out there. So what we've done is a cross-country course, because I wanted everyone to be able to see the cross-country course. Yeah. Some cross-country, you, know, you know you can't see anything. Yeah, just walking around. We built around it up on the miles. hill. So, so basically, good. yeah, and this is, you imagine as a spectator, the non I mean, you can yeah. sit here, you're having a glass of bims just, or whatever. Yeah, just you've got, life. You've got the, uh, yeah. yeah, you've got all the, all the show jumping there. Yeah. And then the cross-country starts up over there this year, we've trained. You could just walk out. You imagine you, yeah, you're feeling good. You want, and let's go for a walk. Yeah. And that's the thing about you know venting. Yeah. Look at this wow, look at this little setup. Yeah, set yeah. I know. Imagine oh, what we were hoping yeah. for. We were hoping for a lovely sunny yeah. day. And, oh, oh, no. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It is a bit cruel, isn't it? It's like, so we just had a quick tour of the grounds. I'm in the car here. I've got the lovely Leonora and Denise in the back. We were just with David Howden himself having a tour. He's back again. Well, these wonderful gentlemen getting some umbrellas. I, I mean, I feel like such a diva. It's nice. nice. very nice. We're just, we're we're just sat here in a brand new Range Rover. Stop whipping my husband. Being like, excuse me. Honestly, we're just standard. We're sat here in a brand new Range Rover, waiting for a man with an umbrella to take us to Champagne. Living the high life right now. We're getting used to this. I know. Leonora, I know. Leonora in the back here. She show jumps. Yeah. Are you tempted yes. to come to the dark side of eventing after Absolutely seeing a little bit not. of this? <laughs> I will be firmly here as a spectator, wishing you well. <laughs> so, just arrived for a little drink. We've got some Cranberry House apple juice up there, I can see. Some Whispering Angel. Some lovely setup here. It's such a shame about the weather, but how beautiful is this out here? Just gorgeous. Wow, 
Well, the rain definitely hasn't stopped us all. I've just been literally escorted with an umbrella to the car. It's been very nice. The girls are coming now. Um, we're actually heading back wow. down to the house Hi. for... Oh, we're back. We're all getting back in. Oh, God, I'm soaked to the I, I was just saying, it hasn't stopped us. I've just us. been dripped on. We've all, we've all been stuck oh. in the gazebo having a nice glass of food. But it's not a bad life. It's really nice. It's been so lovely. It's now, so cool. And now we're going to go and get well fed. True. Here she comes. Here she comes. True Here vlogger she comes. She comes. Here she comes. Here we go. Oh, Here she comes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gone a bit I, know. I don't know looking. why I bothered with the rollers know, at this rate. I know. Can we You're just looking fine. Have a bit of a damp squid. <laughs> damp squid. <laughs> <laughs> she won a team gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah. She won three five star events in the world, and that's at the very, 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 very highest level that eventing has. She's basically the best we have around, and she rides here at Cornbury. And I suppose that's where I want to start with you, Laura, because. Like I say, you always play yourself down, I know that with you, but you are one of the best sports people Great Britain has to offer. And the nice thing about Corbury Horse Trials is you will come and you will see the very best. You'll see the very best at the top of their sport and I think if you're into sport, it's a real privilege to see that. Yeah, I think um, look, this place is, A, it's an amazing venue, B, they do a fantastic job, the courses are fantastic. It's exactly what we, we as riders are missing uh, more in our sport. The hospitality that David puts on is, is brilliant and it's not, um, and we don't get it at every event. So. When she says we don't get it at every event, <laughs> Laura spends a lot of her time at various events up and down the country where the best hospitality you'll get is the burger van. <laughs> the little part of it is, you know, being able to share the experience, um, which hopefully you guys will will come along and see and, and get a feel for. Um, but it is, it's an amazing sport and it is something that um, we're kind of missing being able to, to sell ourselves because we don't have the we don't have enough venues like Cornbury um, to be able to, to invite people along to get them involved and I'm pretty sure you guys will um, if you do come, you will realise it is an amazing sport. Wow, just look at how stunning this table setting is. All of this up here. This is the living room, now it's all been painted. It's quite a gloomy day today, so it's looking um, quite dark, but yeah, I'm super, super happy. I love the colour on the walls next to the new sofas. I just feel like it complements, they both complement each other so well. I really feel like it's made this room feel warm and so much more cosy. So the only things we're waiting for now for in here are the chair to go here, um, the new curtains that'll be going up. It's, it's gone back to feeling really bare over this side now the curtains um, have been taken down. So yeah, I'll be excited to get the curtains back up. Um, and then also I think we're gonna get a little like sideboard for in that corner there um, and another couple of pictures or something to go up on the wall on that side. And then that'll be the living room pretty much done as far as buying things for it obviously i'm sure we'll change little bits and bobs as we live here but yeah this is how it's looking so far guys i'm really really pleased the color on the walls by the way for anyone wondering is um from a brand called coat and it's called debate club but i need to show you another um little update as well because in the back room um the media wall has been primed ready for painting um, so I'm going to go and show you that now as well. So this is how the wall is now looking, now it's been primed. So one step closer to getting finished down here. It already looks so like just, oh, so much better. As you can see, I've popped a few little bits and bobs on the shelves. <laughs> Obviously it's not finished, but you know me guys, I'm really impatient. I just needed to see what it was going to look like with just some pretty little bits and bobs on the shelves. So. Yeah, I am super, super pleased. Um, so all of this in here is getting painted next week. So in the next vlog, I'll be able to show you all um, in this back room painted and this wall finished off. But yeah, I think you'll agree. It looks so much better than just the plain wall that it was. So yeah, super, super pleased with that. 
Another thing you might have noticed as well is the coving has been done in here. So exactly the same as the living room, just to get rid of those straight kind of like 90 degree angle edges. So it's been done all along the top of the media wall and all the way around the rest of the room. So that next week the painters can come in and then just get, get cracking with painting in here. But yeah, so far so good guys. I'm really, really chuffed with how it's looking. If you're wondering whether I'm wearing Christmas pajamas, the answer is yes, yes I am. I got home and wanted to put on some really comfy pyjamas and they were the ones at the top of my pyjama drawer so best believe I'm wearing Christmas pyjamas again. I'm obviously back home now in the newly painted living room. It feels so cosy. I'm excited to have curtains back though because it makes me not want to sit in here in the evening because it's a bit exposed now with no curtains but it's coming. It's all coming. But anyway, I wanted just to quickly pop on and give you a little update because I've had such a lovely day. I've been around the most loveliest people. It was so nice getting to have a little tour of um, Cornbury House. Fiona and David, um, the hosts, were honestly so lovely. They were just so warm and welcoming and the food was lovely. Yeah, it's just a really lovely way to spend the day and... Nice to see some old faces and meet some new ones as well. Yeah, I'm very excited. I will be going down there to watch the horse trials in September. Um, for any of you guys that are interested in that, I will pop um, just a link in the description box so that you can buy tickets. As I said, I'll be going. Andy's coming with me. It's going to be a really fun, fun day out. But I am going to leave this here. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'm slowly getting back into the swing of things now, me in my, in my Christmas pyjamas. One thing I do have to quickly say, these sofas, these new sofas are so, so comfortable. But anyway, next week there's going to be more house updates probably. I think the painters are coming back in um, to do the kitchen dining room. I need to confirm that. So yeah, just hope you've enjoyed the house updates so far. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.